Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to break down, essentially this is a hidden profit that is in your business that you either haven't utilized yet or you haven't seen yet. And uh, I'm gonna give you just very simple example here. Um, some coaches that I work with, when I spot these things, this will typically generate anywhere between an extra like fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars to their business uh over the course of the year um, and i would say minimum depending on what systems are in place so i want to walk through this um, i want to try to make this as simple as possible and if you're a coach watching this and you want to chat with me um, to maybe i can help you with this individually reach out to me uh, my number is uh, 210-960-5771 um, I set up free Zoom calls with coaches every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, to see how I can help. So with that being said, let's dive in. Now, on the spreadsheet, you'll see I have different brackets here. Leads, customers at, or sorry, conversion at 20%, total clients, lead, total leads who didn't buy, where to place leads who don't buy. Now, this is a spreadsheet I would recommend that uh, you just go create your own, like literally just copy what I have here. And I'm assuming this based off a 12 month cycle that on average you're getting at least 20 leads. Now, if you're not getting at least 20 leads, I feel like you're not marketing hard enough at all. Uh, I could go get 20 leads tomorrow if I just go down to the soccer field and start talking to parents or I start talking to coaches or I start talking to organizations. The leads are there and for me, like if someone's just starting their business, they need to have more than 20 leads per month. And I'm talking about people that you're talking to over the phone, which is why I have the conversion here at 20%. I'm basing 20% off of just, I, I think that's pretty normal for coaches. Uh, if they don't have a lot of experience selling, uh, even people who are good at sales, if they contact a lot of people every day, they're not going to close everyone, right? So I'm keeping the conversion at 20% because I think that it's pretty standard, pretty normal. Your conversion could be a lot higher if it is, uh, then this video will probably help you even more, all right? So if the first month, where this is column two, all right? Uh, if the first month is 20 leads, right? If the conversion is 20%, that means you close four clients that month, all right? And if the leads stay the same throughout the whole year, you have the same amount of leads that come in, you close 20% throughout the whole year. By the end of the 12 month cycle, you'll have 50 clients. So it's pretty normal, like for coaches that I work with, uh, they're charging between, it, it really depends on the service, but they're charging between, I would say on average, between $200 and $500 per month. And that's like on average, right? So you can do the numbers there. You know That's a six-figure business. If you have 20 leads that come in per month, you're closing 20% conversion. Um, and th these are based off of clients who are signing up for not just like month to month, they're signing up for a longer period of time, right? Now, the, th the reason why I wanna create this video, it's not centered around this equation here. It's centered around this here. The people who didn't buy. This is where I can always spot at least 50, thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars of lost profit in your business it's because normally what coaches do is they'll have these 20 calls they'll close four clients and then nothing happens to the 16 people who didn't buy it's just crickets and we're like well you didn't buy so uh, you know if we can't help you now but we're not gonna be able to help you later type of thing and here all right, and I'm just gonna calculate this so you can see this. I'm gonna take 16, and as, again, I'm assuming here, if you have 20 leads and you close four people, there's 16 people that are not being serviced here, all right? So I take 16 times 12 months. That's 192, all right, I'm gonna put that here, 192 leads, all right, who are lost, all right? They're lost, there's no process for them, all right? And what I like to do, right, is I like to come in and figure out why, why aren't these people being serviced? What can we create to give them something? So 
a high percent of these 192 people end up be, becoming a customer in some capacity, right? Now, this is why like, I really encourage coaches to run camps and clinics all the time, right? And I have a process that's called Big Money Camps in, at buildmysportsbiz.com. You can go check it out. That shows you how to sell out camps every single time you run one, right? And I look at, you know, if there's 192 leads that come in that aren't being serviced, well, don't, don't you think as a coach, don't you think at least half of those people are going to want to do any sort of camp or clinic that you run that month? In my mind, the answer should be yes, right? At least half of those people. And that's a lot. And that's 80 something people that could be involved. And that could be any type of camp, any type of clinic. I'm not going to go into specifics <clears throat> about that on this video, but I'm just showing you there's 192 people here, all right? that are not being serviced, uh, they're lost right now. And on average, right, I'm just saying on average here, if each of those customers, right, over the, each of those uh, leads who, who have not bought, right, if on average, right, I'm gonna take 192 times, yep, times $500, all right, that's a, that's $96,000 of money. That's assuming like, again, and I'm just, I'm using 500 as an average because you could have a camp that is $400. Uh, you could run four or five camps per year, right? And again, I'm, I'm taking 192 times that because I know not everyone's into it, but I'm just saying that's what the average of what those leads could be paying, right? And if you have higher end camps or you run clinics every week, or if you have some other type of consulting program for college recruiting, or you have a confidence program, whatever it is, doesn't matter to me, right? I'm focused on, right? If we're able to extract a lot of these people here and we turn them into customers, your business becomes automatically more profitable without really having to work harder. So this depends on what your sales process looks like. If you get off the call and you're like, all right, well, you know, if you guys can't do anything, then I'll see you guys later. Then there's nothing you transition them into. So my goal, if I were to work with you, right, my goal is to figure out what we can uh, transition them into and how to move the call in that direction, right? And again, I'm showing you, I think this is a very simple example. If any average coach out there who's talking to 20 people per month about their business and they close 20%, there is a lot of, of money here in this bracket that most people do nothing with, all right? It took me many, many years in my business to figure this out. Once I figured this out, my business, like without having to work harder, made more money because I came back to these people with offers, all right? Hopefully this works, or it's not hopefully it works, hopefully it helps, all right? If you see this and you're like, all right, I want to go deeper into this, reach out to me, I will talk to you on, the, on a Zoom call. Um, this has helped a lot of the coaches that I've already worked with, coaches that are running six-figure businesses, they have plugged this into their business and it works very well. It works very, very well. That's it for today's video and uh, catch you later.